All right, guys, here we have, we have a 2011 Club Car DS gas. This one here we picked up because the customer said it's backfiring. So with this cart being out of adjustment the way it is, you give it barely half throttle or at least half pedal and the rev limiter kicks in. Put it in service mode, which is flipping this switch. Okay, when it's in neutral, it'll allow the engine to run. And you can see it's in neutral. Key on. And step on the pedal. It starts, but it doesn't go anywhere. Now if you put it into gear, it won't do anything when it's in service mode. But you can see, as soon as I step on the pedal, that's very, here I'll show you how this works. You step on the pedal, the first thing that's supposed to happen is the engine's supposed to crank before the throttle plate opens on the carburetor. This is not the case with this cart. What's happening is, as soon as I step on the pedal, the throttle plate is open about an eighth of the way. So as soon as I step on the pedal, you'll hear the click and then you'll hear the engines run and not just crank. And you can see I didn't move my pet my foot. Now if I go all the way to the floor. There you can hear the rev limiter kicking in. It's cutting off the ignition, allowing the engine RPMs to run down, and then it re-enables the ignition, and then it fires back up, and it'll keep doing that endless cycle. And that's what happens when you incorrectly adjust the governor on these things. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust it the way I do it. I'll show you what the problem is first. This has one of these really weird back seats that lifts up. Because of the way this back seat is designed, I can't really get in here easily enough to show you. So this is gonna be a little a bit of a cattywampus video. But this bracket here, this cable comes from the throttle box, okay? Which is the control box. It has the solenoid in it and all that stuff. And the, this is the cable that comes from it. This bracket here, when you step on the pedal, it pulls this cable in and it rotates this bracket. As you can see, this end up here is going forward like that. And this cable over here, this is what goes to the throttle body or the butterfly valve on the carburetor. And this is what actually is controlling your, your speed and your, the throttle position of the carburetor. And people typically bend this part of the bracket. They're getting more power without properly adjusting this. It looks like the way this thing is set up that somebody's been in here and made some other adjustments. So we're gonna get this thing squared away. Sometimes what other, the other thing people do is they will loosen this nut and rotate this pin, which is, so we're gonna adjust it here first and get this back into the position it belongs in. All right, so that's loosened up. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you, hopefully the camera won't fall or shake or whatever. trying to do is get this adjusted but it doesn't seem like it's okay so it seems like that governor is not working like it should it's not a uh, it's not kicking in like it's supposed to so it's possibly damaged so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do some cable adjustments in order to get it squared away let's get this airbox hose off get the air hose off. Sometimes they don't like to come off. I'm just trying to, there we go. Just get the rubber to flex a little bit. We're gonna take it off the carburetor too, just to give us a little more room here. There. All right, and this is just basically for access. This has nothing to do with how to do this. All right, so there's a cable 
right here. This one here is the cable that comes out of this control box and this is what goes back to the first linkage on the rear governor. The governor's that, brand, that arm that's back there. So when you step on the pedal, turn it off, you can see there's the two micro switches. There's a hard linkage that comes from the pedal and it, it's connected to a rod on the, underneath this box that is connected to this shaft right here, which in turn is connected to this cam. So when you press the pedal, you can see how it pulls this cable out. And you can see this cable here is at its maximum adjustment. So we're gonna back that off. Here's a 10 millimeter. So we're gonna open this one. Definitely have been readjusted at some point because they weren't mega tight. So now as you can see, we step on it and pull that cable in. And what you want to happen is you want the cart to crank over and then as you give it more pedal, that's when it opens the valve, the butterfly valve on the carburetor. If the butterfly valve is open and the ignition fires, you're gonna get backfiring. And that's what this guy is experiencing now, is backfiring. And that's typically the reason why is because this is all out of adjustment. So we're gonna just kinda get this a little snug. We're not gonna tighten it down too far because I wanna make some more adjustments. All right, so here's the cover over the throttle or over the carburetor rather. I'm gonna take these two Torx screws out. Now disclaimer, don't do this unless you know what you're doing or you're comfortable doing it. This could cause serious engine damage, especially if your rev limiter is not functioning as it should. You could inev inevitably destroy the motor. I take no responsibility for your actions. I take no liabilities for anything that you do that causes harm, serious bodily injury, or death, or property damage, or anything that's outside of recommended whatevers. All right, so I'm hoping you can see this. You can see here's the butterfly valve on the throttle body. And then what happens is when you start the cart, the thing you should hear first is the click of the solenoid and the engine crank. You should not hear the engine throttle up, just like this. And not until you step on the pedal a little further you'll notice that this throttle body, or butterfly valve, will begin to open. And as we can see, the governor is not working like it should. That should have automatically bounced itself back. The governor is bad in this cart, so we're gonna have to be very careful about what we do and get everything adjusted as best as possible. The only thing I'm gonna be able to do is get it close. I'm never gonna be able to get it to work as it should. It's all gonna be manual throttle controls. It's never gonna self-regulate. And this is the problem, guys, when you start dicking around with these governors and you watch on YouTube how, how to adjust the governor to make your golf cart faster. And you blow up that governor. Your engine is never going to operate properly. You're never going to have the proper regulation that it needs. Be aware of that. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Hire a professional to do it because you're going to end up having a repair bill now. If I have to put a rear end in this cart, you're looking at like a couple thousand bucks. Based on my experience with this issue, guys, this is not something that I can... I can repair because of the availability of parts. I can't just go to one of my suppliers and order those parts. I've sent emails to Club Car numerous times and they keep redirecting me to other dealers and quite frankly that's a bit annoying when I can easily order from Yamaha or EasyGo. I can't order directly from Club Car. I can't figure that out. But you know, it is what it is I suppose. Now remember with the intake hose See, here's the end that goes on the air box. You can see it's nice and smooth right here on the edge. But the one that's on the carburetor has this little notch which goes up against the PCV. And this one's not dry rotted, so it's in good shape. It's a bit of a bummer that I can't fix that. I don't like being defeated. I don't like the defeat feeling. Let's get it in like this. Air hose is back on, this is all back together. Now here's what this will sound like. So now we have pedaling fluctuations.
So I gave him a little bit of pedal adjustment so where he has, he's able to uh, manually fluctuate the throttle without having to worry about the governor kicking in. But at the same time, it's, it's never going to self-regulate. It's always going to hit the rev limiter if you push it to the floor and it's just in, on flat land. So not much you could do for it there. Okay, so let that be a lesson to you that adjusting the governor is not always a good idea. Because as you can see, this one has suffered some damage and will no longer self-regulate its speed, or the engine speed that is, or regulate the golf cart speed because it cannot regulate the engine speed. So this golf cart basically needs a new governor and those are not parts that are easily accessible by me, so I can't fix it. This one's done, basically. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to check my links down in the video's description. And if you like my content, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. So, all right, guys, we will see you in the next video.